Hello everyone and welcome to the next episode of the Shining Pearl playthrough. This is episode 12. I hope you guys are having a good day. If you are, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys find yourself coming back and you like what you see. I quickly want to apologize for the lack of uploads lately. I know I said in episode 11 that we're back and the uploads are gonna happen again, but clearly that didn't happen. Uh <laughs> There's been a lot of stuff going on, you know, between Christmas, holidays, New Year's. Yeah, this was my first time in about a decade experiencing uh, New Year's and the holidays in Florida. So I wanted to enjoy that, you know, take a step back from creating content, enjoy these special days. But, you know, now I, now I feel good enough to come back and uh, create the content again, upload consistently. Because clearly I already failed that uh, this year. But nah, I'm definitely excited to come back to stream more, to record more. I have so much content that I want to make. Like, the ideas are flowing. But the execution is just not there. Because... Honestly, because of Shining Pearl. That's one of the reasons. Like, this game came out two months ago and I still didn't finish it. Um, so yeah, that's one of the reasons why I've been uh, a little bit behind on my ideas. But also behind the scenes, I've been working on a bunch of other videos. I've been working on some more Splitgate videos uh, with the boys. I've been also working on the Red 721 Hardcore Nuzlocke, uh, which episode two should be going up this Tuesday. If you guys didn't check out episode one, please check it out. It was crazy. This series is insane. So I definitely recommend checking it out and also check it out live on my main channel. I do it uh, every Friday, or I should be doing it every Friday. But yeah, it's a ton of fun. I love uh, this hardcore Nuzlocke. Uh, it's a little bit chaotic considering I chose one of the hardest games to do a hardcore Nuzlocke of. But it's fun. It's a ton of fun. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed while I was talking with my hand a lot, I actually have a ring now. My brother actually got me this for Christmas. I'll, I'll show this to you guys in a second here. Here, as you can see, I'm, I'm trying to get it on the light. This is uh, Luffy's skull from One Piece. It's so cool. I really love it. I was looking for a ring myself, and my brother decided to get it. So it was really nice of him. Shout out to my brother. Uh, I'm still not sure which finger I do want to have it on, though. Because, I mean, it looks really good on this one, but it also looks good on my middle finger. And it also kind of looks good on my ring finger which logically is where it would go. So this is on my ring finger, this is on my pointer finger, and this is on my middle finger. So let me know which one it looks best on, because honestly, I'm digging either the middle finger or the uh, the pointer finger. Don't worry, I'm not gonna flip you guys off. That, that would be uh, a little bit unnecessary. <laughs> but yeah, I freaking love this thing. Um, it's kind of weird how I got into rings, you know? Like, I did not think I would. Uh, but yeah, what happened was, I was out with some friends, uh, and my brother as well. Um, it was kind of like a get-together of a music group that we're in. Yeah, one of my friends had a ring on, and it looked really cool, so I wanted to try it on myself. Uh, they let me try it, and I honestly really liked it. I thought it looked really good, so I started looking into some. Uh, another friend, uh, sent me a link to a website where I could see if there's any ones that I like. Um, but I found uh, this one on Amazon and my brother said, send me the link, I'll get it for you. So he did and that's that's very nice of him. So thank you, Eddie. <laughs> there's so much that I want to talk about, but I can't put it together in my head, especially like after I didn't record or stream in a long time. Because now my commentary is a little bit off. You know? So I'm, I'm trying my best out here. Please, guys. Don't, don't, uh, don't give up on me. I'm, I'm doing my best. Is that a crit? That was a lot of damage. Wow. Well, actually, um, last night, I went out with, again, Eddie, my brother, and a couple more friends. We went, uh, to Dania Beach to celebrate, uh, one of our friends' birthday. Just sat there, we uh, lit a bonfire, we had some cake, 
and just a bunch of other stuff. It, it was a good time. It was a really good time. That was actually one of my first times going to the beach at night. The first time was when I went, it was back when I lived in Israel. Uh, my mom, my sister, uh, my mom's boyfriend, and his son, uh, we all went uh, up north, uh, north Israel, for a little bit of a vacation. Uh, and yeah, we went to this beach at night just to walk around there. We got ice cream. So that was the first time, but this was the second time uh, when we went to celebrate the birthday. Um, I'm sorry if you have no idea what I'm saying. I'm so all over the place. <laughs> and I gotta record two of these, dude. Ew. But yeah, it was definitely a good time, considering I'm not the biggest fan of the beach either. I'm, I'm a cool person, ride or die. Like, I don't like the beach that much. Like, as a kid, I used to hate it. Like, seriously hate it. But, I- I grown to withstand it, you know? Like, I'm not too crazy about it, that- that wouldn't be my go-to place. But, like, if, if a couple of my friends are going to the beach and they're like, Hey, you wanna come? I would say sure. I would say yeah, why not? Cause it's not- it's not just about the beach, it's about, you know, hanging out with the people you love. Life lessons with being. We got a fist blade. Can you... There's no item here. This is just berries, right? What berries are here? I want to see what the berries are. Luck berries don't do anything. And peck berries. I'll definitely take some peck berries. I want, I want peaches. I want peaches right now. <laughs> I was going to ask this uh, earlier in the episode, but what are your goals for 2020? Uh, two. What, what are you... <laughs> I completely forgot the year. But yeah, what are your goals for this new year? Uh, I, I definitely got a bunch of goals in my head. Uh, first one is I want to try and hit 1,000 subscribers on my main channel. Which means I gotta stream more and upload more on there. Which, I'm working on it. Don't worry, I'm working on it. But yeah, if you guys are not subscribed to my main channel, the link is in the description, you can go ahead and do it. It would help out a lot, uh, considering we also recently hit 600 subscribers. Let's go. Thank you to anybody who is subscribed to the main channel. Thank you. Um, I really do appreciate all the support. Shockwave! Okay. So yeah, I would like to hit 1,000 subscribers, and what else? By the end of the year, I wanted to have a full collection of songs out. I can't really say if I want to have an album out or an EP, but I'm, I'm still thinking about it. Uh, I, I definitely want to have just a collection of songs out by the end of this year. Yeah, definitely working on that. So yeah, I think that's it. That's my goals. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything else. <laughs> I mean, if, if we could hit uh, 150 on this channel, that would be pretty dope. But yeah, in order to hit that, I do have some stuff coming. Uh, definitely got some banger ideas. Breaking the fourth wall, this is like my fifth or sixth attempt at recording. Because I, I couldn't get uh, I couldn't get commentary on for the life of me. Like, at one point I was like actually mad that I couldn't speak. Like, my mind was all over the place. So yeah, it took me like six tries to finally get the oh, an attempt that kind of works. I mean, I've, I've been doing good. We're 16 minutes in, and I'm still going, so we're doing good. We're doing good. And that is a Gyarados. Why do you have a Gyarados? Alright, uh, okay, this Gyarados is an issue. Um, He's literally going to murder my Kratidos if I don't switch out. So yeah, let's do that. And then I'm gonna double kick the Glamy out. No, I meant to double kick the cat, not the big serpent. Ew, that's not good. Okay, let's see how much damage this does. <laughs> Why did I misclick? Why did I have to misclick? <laughs> okay, Glamy out goes for Fury Swipes. It's okay, it's all. Dang it, my water bottle's empty. Oh, I'm sad. 
Oh, I'm so sad. My water bottle's empty, bro. That's the worst. Because I, I was going to record two episodes. Uh, and also, I'm pretty sure my parents just got home from the store. So, we might, have, might be having dinner soon. So, I might record later in the day. I'll, I'll see what I'm going to do. But I wanted to start recording ahead of time. Just so even if I can't record, I still have episodes in the back burner to upload. Did that? Did that Glamo just go for hair? Uh, uh? What's it called? Aerial Ace? Did you really just do that? Also, I fell in love with, in love with my low pony, I think. Okay, let's just end this battle. <laughs> Yo, we're so close to Veilstone City, dude. I'm so excited. And that was level 31. Anything else? Uh, there's... Yep, yeah, there's anything... There is anything else. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him with a spoon. He's ready to eat some ice cream. Well, what's your guys' favorite ice cream in the chat? In the comment section. Let me know. Let me know. I know I'm asking a lot of questions today, but... Uh, it, it'd be like that. It'd be like that. Boing boing? <laughs> what are you doing, Luxio? Uh, Luxray. I, I, I forget that he evolved. I forgot that he evolved, bro. Oh, I'm learning Giga Train? Let's go. Let's go. Definitely learning that. Losing a lot of PP there, but, you know, it's it could work. It could work. Giga Train is a really good move, and I'm gonna plug in my phone real quick. You won and I lost, but the both of us but the both of us gained something from this. What'd you gain? <laughs> Aw, come on. Don't don't make me do that. <laughs> don't 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 say that. I d I don't wanna hurt nobody's confidence. <laughs> but we just made it to a Veilstone Shitty. Welcome, welcome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, I'm so sad that they removed the game corner. That was that was one of my favorite things to do. Uh, not not better than the uh, than the underground though. Underground is easily my favorite thing in uh, Pokemon BDSP or DP. Uh, yeah, let's let's see what let's see what's in here instead. What do we got? Alright, so this is an outfit shop. <gasps> oh wait, oh, I thought I wasn't recording my game audio. I was gonna be so sad. Oh my god, wait, listen to this. I freaking love this theme, that's incredible. I, I heard the original version, uh, or like the original version remixed by Glitch City. That is a bank, but that, that is incredible. That remaster is really nice. Okay, what's here? This box goes here, and that box goes there. So busy, I wish Clefairy could work its magic and help out. Yeah, Clefairy, what are you doing? What are you doing, Clefairy? A meteorite came screaming out of nowhere, and where it landed, a town popped up and flourished. What a rockin' story. Aha, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. You funny. You, you're funny. All right, let's see. Welcome, a metronome-style shop. You can choose a new outfit to achieve your perfect look. Hell yeah. We're going shopping, boys. <laughs> I'm so shocked the Tiki shirt with the Clefairy pattern are sold it out. Wow, they really love Clefairy in this town. It's Clefairy, a Clefairy plush. It looks like Clefairy is the mascot of this shop. <clears throat> Welcome to Metronome Style Shop. Anything I can help you find? Change my style? Hell yeah! Let's go! You want to keep your current style? Let's freaking go. Oh, look at it! That's adorable. 
You know, we're 22 minutes in. We, we could end off the episode by looking at some outfits. Overall style. Eevee jacket. That's pretty cute. Gengar jacket. Okay. Winter style. Spring style. We have the casual. Hey, yo. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that shows how it looks in the overworld. That's pretty cute. That's cute. I like that. Wait, is, but is that literally everything that I can buy? Is that it? There has to be some more stuff, right? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these are really clean. Like, I like these, but... If that's all that you can get, that's not really worth it. <laughs> Let's have a look at the department store. Let's see what we can get in here. I know we can get, like, balls and potions here. We can buy Ultra Balls, baby. Let's go. Uh, oh, excuse me. Right, we're gonna buy 21 of those. Um, I'm gonna buy a few Max Repels. I don't want to go too crazy with those. We're gonna get 13. That puts us at 12k. Oh, we can buy max potions? Hello? I, I would. I would cop, but... I'm, I'm okay with hyper potions. Considering none of my Pokemon pass 100 HP, if I'm not wrong. Let's see. Oh, Cascade! Cascade's at 103. But it, do it doesn't pass 200, so we don't really need uh, max potions. Hyper potions will do the job. Actually, wait! Hyper potions were nerfed in this gen. Or, in one of the gens, Hyper Potions were actually nerfed. Let's see. Is that right? Super Potions are 60. Yeah! Unless they were 120 the entire time, and I just... I'm dumb. Okay, we have the X items. Well, I'm pretty much broke at this point, so I can't really... I, eh, maybe I could sell a bunch of stuff. Let's see. Actually, I could sell the star piece. That's that's good money. That's good money right there. Okay, what do you got over here? Let's see. Protein, iron, calcium, all that fun stuff. Nutrition's. Oh, counter app. All right. I'll take the counter app. Let's go. If I ever want to count, we can do it now. <laughs> and then these are the TMs, I believe. Let's sweep. Well, this time it's at, this time it's not randomized, so we know what we have in here. So that's good. Oh, we can get swords dance. Hell yeah! Give me, please. I'll definitely take that. Um, there's flash. I don't think you need flash. Maybe. No, I think you only need defog. I'll buy false swipe when I want to shine on when I shine uh, when I want a shiny hunt or whatever. Fire blast, thunder, blizzard, focus blast, flamethrower, thunderbolt, ice beam. Dude, these these moves are freaking insane. And you can buy them for so cheap as well. Let's see. I'm I'm getting psychic. I don't care. I'm getting psychic. All right. All right, who's learning Psychic? Let's see. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? Cascade can learn... Oh my god. Cascade can learn Psychic. Mm. I'm gonna get rid of Charm. Dude, that's crazy. Tail Glow Psychic is so broken. And then when I get Surf, dude, this this thing is gonna be dummy broken Braxton the fourth or fifth. <laughs> Finny's got me saying that, dude. 
<laughs> Shout out to freaking Origin 151. Um. Okay, this is probably stuff for the base. Yeah, pedestals. And over here. More pedestals. <laughs> So that is going to do it for today's episode of the Shining Pro playthrough. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more great Pokemon content. Turn on your post notifications so you never miss a new video. And also don't forget to check out the Red 721 Hardcore Nuzlocke, both the highlight episodes and both the streams. Because uh, again, I do those on my main channel every Friday. Uh, or I'll try. I'll try to stick to the schedule. I pretty much have a schedule written down. I just gotta finalize it and uh, make it public. So with that, thank you everybody so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Take care.